Survivor Series is gone. Survivor Series is done. Gone but not forgotten by many on here, which is which is as it should be, of course. You know, I am I am naturally upset about this. I, like many others on here, have had developed an attachment to the name Survivor Series, and I don't I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. And um, you know, it is kind of a sad sad thing to see a name that was like a staple of the company for twenty years to just like get cast aside, you know, after one down year. But um, you know, let's. I'm going to present what could have been, what they could have done instead to kind of keep respect for the name because I think they should have kept, kept respect for the name. I'm going to delve right into this because I actually agree that the, the team elimination matches are outdated. Vince McMahon, I think it was Vince McMahon's words that said that the team elimination concept was outdated, that it didn't connect with the fans anymore. And I kind of agree with that, to be completely honest. I agree with it on the basis that um, the Survivor Series matches, um, they need a lot of time to like really feel, um, to really feel important and special. And um, you know the way that worked in the early, in the late eighties Survivor Series was that um, you know there was only about five matches and all of them were team elimination matches and I, I'm not sure like I would have to see those shows there there are, there are more shows that I want that I can't afford to guy to get isn't that great but um, you know I would like to see I would have to see those shows before I could make a definite answer on this but like would that really um, like um, fit in today, um, you know, doing a doing an entire peer review of elimination matches like they did in the late eighties. I don't know if it would to be completely honest. I'm I'd have to see how it how it how it um flowed. Was it was it done well in those early Survivor series? But to be honest, like it just doesn't seem like a balanced pay per view to be completely honest. Um it feels like, you know, there's a reason that the Royal Rumble has an undercard has a undercard matches. There's a reason that the you know, Elimination Chambers have undercard matches because, like, you need to keep a healthy balance. You need to be diverse in what you present on pay-per-view. And I don't know if, if, the, if the team elimination matches were given as much time as they needed to really be something worthwhile to watch, then, um, then it would leave very little else to be on the pay-per-view. Um, well, you could still do two that got... Like they have been doing recent, they have been doing in the last um in the la in the last one they only had two, and if they had got a lot of time, then you know you'd have to cut some other things out, but you might have still have room to to place everything else in. But are the time the team elimination matches really, do they really have that timeless energy that um that the Royal Rumble has, or that even the elimination chambers in February have? Because you know the elimination chambers benefit from the time of the year that they're that they're hosted in, because you know in February we're all um. They have intrigue because um, they influence um, in a big way what we're going to see at WrestleMania. So, like, they have their good place to create a momentum, a buzz, um, some the energy for the Elimination Chambers that the Survivor Series matches, because of the time of the year that they're on, simply does not have. Um, you know, I just don't know if the if the team Elimination matches, if they were given enough time to really be something worthwhile to watch, would it be ba a balanced enough show to really? Um, to really work like I don't know I'd have to see the early Survivor Series where it was really where the team elim elimination matches were the most important to really give a definitive definitive answer on that but that's just my assumption that's just what I would observe based on you know what I think I like what I like to watch but you know again it just depends on what what, it, what how it used to work and how it works today I don't know um, but you know I still disagree with even though I think that the team elimination matches might have like um, lost their luster. They kind of are outdated a little bit. I just think that um, the name itself deserved more respect than this. I think that the name you have to rebrand Survivor Series, not remove it. That's what I think. That's 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 why the title of this video is "What Could Have Been" because I think that Survivor Series should have been rebranded instead of um, removed completely. That's just my opinion. You know, um, Survivor Series as a name um, could imply a lot of things. Survivor Series um, as a name could imply many. Um, many different valid concepts um, to replace the team elimination matches. You know, we have seen successful Survivor Series events that have not featured any elimination matches. You know, my favorite Survivor Series is um, is without any elimination matches at all. That was 2002. That was my favorite Survivor Series ever. And it was because, um, you know, it, it didn't need the elimination matches. You would have the Elimination Chamber, which, you know, as its name suggests, um, fit in with the Survivor Series um, the tone of the show, but apart from the Elimination Chamber, it just felt such a special event because all the titles changed hands, and I, I think that was, it just made the entire event seem very special. You know, it had that um, 
that amazing tag team match as well. So I my favorite my my favorite Survivor Series doesn't have um, any elimination matches on it to be honest, unless you unless you want to count the um, the opener. But I re I really don't. I think that fits in with the tone. And you know that we've had Survivor Series 1998, which will always be remembered for The Rock winning the his first World Championship. So you know there have been successful Survivor Series without elimination matches. And you know, if WWE really wanted to, if they wanted to keep um, keep respect for the name, then they could have easily rebranded Survivor Series under a different concept. You know, maybe put the scramble match in there. You know, have that for the annual placement of the championship scramble matches. Because that could, that that match could imply survival. You know, the champion has to go in and survive for 20 minutes, and in that environment, 15, 20 minutes, he has to survive. That could imply Survivor Series. Um, you could have Iron Man matches. But then again, I don't think the Iron Man match is an annual thing. You know, there's a four-year gap between the bragging rights match and the last one we saw, which was in 2005 with Angle and Michaels. But even so, you know, um, I'm just trying to put in some suggestions on you could rebrand Survivor Series, um, even if you put in war games in there. You know, you, if, you're, if there are, we have rumors that they're bringing back war games, you could easily have brought back war games and have it as an event called Survivor Series, in my opinion. And, you know, the WWE promotional machine is strong enough, it is strong enough to make it feel like an entirely new event whilst, whilst keeping respect for the name, in my opinion. I think that, I think they are, I think the, they could have promoted it in that sense and created that feeling of something new, whereas, um, without having to change the name that has been around for 20 plus years and, um, has, has been attached to these long-time fans, because you don't, I don't think it was necessary to change the name, in my opinion. If they're going to put war games in there, like that's, a, that's a match that could imply survival. You know, even though it's not elimination style, there's about that's a match with a lot of people in it. The people that are going in, they have to survive. So you know, you could have um, put a lot of valid concepts in there and kept the Survivor Series name. You could have even put, you couldn't even put a, you could have even put a tagline on the event to try and keep it, to try and make it feel a, a little fresher. You know, Survivor Series Ultimate, Survivor Series. Revenge, Survivor Series, you know, I'm just putting in some generic suggestions in there, but you get the idea of what I'm saying. Um, Survivor Series could have used, um, I, I agree that the, t the team elimination matches are outdated, that they could have been, fre that the event could have been freshened up a little bit. I just don't think that the, that the event name needed to be changed, because it's a name that has, has just been, it's, the fans have just grown attached to it, and I think that's going to create a backlash. As we have seen on here, it's created a backlash, you know? I just think that, um, the WWE um, could have put the effort in um, and just promoted the event as something new while keeping the long established name. Because, you know, I agree that when um, I see the slow buy rate of the last of last year's Survivor Series, I agree that it was um, that it was a crappy build up and that just showed. But I just think that if they wanted to um, change the perception of Survivor Series and give it a new identity, then they could have done that and just kept the name of it. You know, you don't have to change the name because, you know, um, the WWE have enough promotional power to achieve that feeling of something new without having to change one of their long-time established names, you know? You know, that's just my opinion. That's what I think. Um, I just disagree with the the fact that Survivor Series is now gone and we're going to see something new in the November slot. I just, you know, I'm naturally upset because I had grown attached to the Survivor Series name for the past 10 years, but, you know, those are the breaks. That's just what's going to happen, you know? I'm out. Later.